how happy some or other some can be. From A Midsummer Night's Dream, Act One, Scene One by William Shakespeare. This is a LibriVox recording. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Heather. How happy some or other some can be! Through Athens I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know what all, but he do know. And as he errs, doting on Hermia's eyes, so I, admiring of his qualities, things base and vile, folding no quantity, love can transpose to form and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Nor hath love's mind of any judgment taste, wings no eyes figure unheedy haste. And therefore is love said to be a child, because in choice he is so oft beguiled. As waggish boys and gain themselves forswear, so the boy love is perjured everywhere. For ere Demetrius looked on Hermia's eyne, he hailed down oaths that he was only mine. And when this hail some heat from Hermia felt, so he dissolved, and showers of oaths did melt. I will go tell him of fair Hermia's flight, then to the woods will he to-morrow night pursue her, and for this intelligence, if I have thanks, it is a dear expense, but herein mean I to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither and back again. End of How Happy Some or Other Some Can Be From A Midsummer Night's Dream Act 1, Scene 1 This recording is in the public domain. Recording by Heather Chan, Calgary, Alberta, Canada